Hey everybody, this is Lynn with the Lies Family Kitchen. Today I am going to make authentic sweet and sour chicken. The name says it all. This is crispy, it's sweet and tangy. And the best part about this recipe is you can use the same recipe to make sweet and sour anything. Let's get started. Check the description below for a complete list of ingredients. We're making sweet and sour chicken for two. So for that, we're going to need eight ounces of chicken dark meat. This is chicken thigh meat, boneless and skinless. There's still a little bit of uh, fat on it, so I'm gonna trim that a little bit. Just cut off the fat pieces. Like that. Cut them into strips and then cut them into one inch cubes, about bite size. Next, we're going to marinate the chicken. For that, we're going to need a quarter teaspoon of salt and a one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of white rice wine. You can also substitute with water if you don't have any rice wine, and then one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. So we're going to add all the ingredients in the chicken. And mix it all up by hand. Massage it and make sure it's all evenly mixed. This will get a little sticky and it's okay. Next, we're going to beat an egg with one tablespoon of water and add to the chicken. Once the egg is very well beaten and gets a little bit foamy. You can see there's no more separations of white and egg yolk. And we're going to add this to the chicken. The eggs in the chicken will make the chicken more crispy. And we're going to make a flour mixture and then dredge the chicken in the flour mixture and fry it. For the flour mixture, we're going to need half a cup of cornstarch and then half a cup of all-purpose flour. Just add the two together and mix it evenly. Next, we're going to make the sweet and sour sauce. The sauce is really what makes the dish. And it's a very simple recipe, but it's delicious. For that, we're going to need one teaspoon of soy sauce, a quarter cup of ketchup, a third of a cup of pineapple juice, third of a cup of uh, plain white vinegar, half a cup of regular sugar. And to thicken the sauce, we're going to need one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. In a medium saucepan over medium heat, we're going to add the vinegar. <laughs> Then the soy sauce, stir it to dissolve the ketchup, and then add the sugar. Stir occasionally until the sugar dissolves and bring this sauce to a boil. Once the sauce is boiling, mix the cornstarch with water and then add to the sauce. And stir it evenly and the sauce will thicken. Bring it to a boil again. And you can see big bubbles in the sauce and we're done. Let's set this aside. Next, we're going to fry the chicken. We're gonna take our chicken that's already covered in the egg mixture, put it in the flour mixture, shake off excess, and put it in the oil. This oil has been heated to 375 degrees.
stir it a couple of times to make sure it's being cooked evenly. It's been about six minutes and these are lightly golden brown and they're very crispy, you can tell. You, would, you can tell that it's done when most of the bubbles and the sizzling sound has subsided. The rest of the chicken is done. We're almost ready to finish the dish. Here are the rest of the ingredients we need. Half a teaspoon of finely minced ginger, one tablespoon of finely minced garlic, half an onion diced up into one inch pieces, half a green bell pepper diced up about the same size, half a red bell pepper, and then also half a cup of pineapple chunks. It's wok time. With a wok on the highest heat setting on your stove, we're going to add in about two tablespoons of oil. And then add the green, the onions, bell peppers, for about one minute just to get that charring, smoky, wok-y flavor on the vegetables. You can cook it a little bit longer if you prefer your vegetables a little bit softer. I kind of like to have them uh, a little bit on the punchy side. Then add the garlic and ginger. Cook until you can smell the fragrance of the garlic and the ginger. About half a minute or so. And then add the pineapple chunk. My mouth is watering from just smelling this and I love the vibrant color of the vegetables. We're going to cook this until the pineapple is uh, dried up and warmed up because pineapple tend to, have to, be, tend to have a lot of water. We don't want that water to retain in the wok, so we want it to dry up. Okay, this looks good. Now, in goes the chicken. And the sauce we made earlier. And just mix it even. And it's done. There you have it, sweet and sour chicken. Let's give it a try, shall we? Look at that golden brown and it's delicious. Mm. This tastes exactly like sweet and sour chicken I've had in restaurants in China. And now you can make this at home. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and stay tuned for more delicious food.